have a question this morning. I was out running on one of my trails that I do. <clears throat> and realizing that a lot of trails lead to different places. But that's not the reason why I got on. <clears throat> my question this morning is, when will you wake the heck up? When will you realize that we are in the end of times? When will you realize that God is on his way? When will you realize that the stuff popping off is just the beginning of all out hell breaking out on this world? I, I don't know how to, I, I can even remotely get you to realize the situation that you're in. The people of God, the ones that are going in the harpazo have already been chosen. They've already been marked and they're about to leave this world. I got for the third time in the third week, I've gotten another rapture dream. Um, so you need to wake the heck up. Um, the first one was, it was a red sky and I went out the door and up into the sky. The second one, I was in a car with my dad and my brother. They wanted to go see a movie and it was kind of like God's way of showing it's like the fleshly world. They left, went to the movie and I was immediately like taken across the ground and then into a room. And it was like a ladder, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it was maybe Jacob's ladder. And then this morning, I got another dream where I was with the students that, of Job Corps. And I um, basically started getting airlifted and I dropped my leash on the ground and was airlifted out of here. Um, but I live with someone. And if you're listening to this, I this is not meant to hurt anyone. But when will you give up the videos of this world when will you get up, give up the, the sports and entertainment and all this other crap it's all distraction to get you to realize or to get you away from the truth the truth is is god is on his way the truth is this world is going to die before you this world's going to be hit by an emp and it's already going down do you not see all the people that have crossed our border are causing major havoc throughout most of the u.s there's major clashes going on. You have rioting, you have murdering, you have people that are so wicked and evil killing each other. When will you wake up and give up this world? It's a fleshly world. It says if you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God, period. If you are doing something that you know is wrong and you think, you, oh, well, at the last second you can give, up, give it up and go to heaven, you're full of crap. I'm here to tell you that this world's ending that Grand Mesa right there that you see will crumple before you. Earthquakes that you have never seen before are going to pop off. The entire uh, Pacific coast will fall. I mean, from California all the way to uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Then that's the entire San Andreas so that's connected onto, it's called the Cascadia Fault Line. When that goes, all the volcanoes go at the same time that are along it. And there's quite a few, including Rainier and Yellowstone that's very well known, and that's a super volcano. Um, there are going to be tsunamis that are a mile or two tall. So it, like when I saw it, it was way the heck up here. Um, so, <coughs> sorry, um, but you're going to see things and you're, you're going to regret everything you've ever done. And you're like, holy crap, this guy that I saw the other day was actually spot on. I'm here to tell you, you've been lied to. I'm here to tell you the people that are going, oh, it's okay, we're gonna have a revival and everything's gonna get back to normal and all the swamp is gonna be drained and blah, blah, blah. They're both playing for the same team. Both of our candidates and all these Congress people are all on the same team. We are, um, in 1871, the, uh, the government changed to a, I think it's an LLC, it's a limited uh, liability corporation is what it stands for and a, the U.S. became a corporation. The original uh, constitution went out the window. Um, you are now uh, their asset. Everyone, um, you're basically a stock to them. The more you work, the more money that you make them. So, um, and they, they bet you on, a, on the stock market. You have a number um, and that's your social security number and they are using it to buy and sell and trade you. And um, you need to wake up. This world is a complete and utter sham. Everything that I have learned, holy crap. Um, it, is, it is an absolute sham. 
um, we bow to their ways because in order to like live on this world, we have to get licenses and all this other stuff. And we find, come to find out, it's like, that's how they control us. It's like, hey, you can do this if you buy, buy our blah, blah, blah. You can do that if you do this. I mean, they are the most wicked, greedy, sinful pieces of poop. And they have come up with ways in which to transition their conscious, consciousness into other bodies. Um, I've seen multiple videos on that one. Um, but the devil, yes, um, the devil has made ways in which these greedy few can um, keep going. Um, and they can draw their line all the way to Nimrod. And I kind of get the sensation that Nimrod was uh, one of the uh, like partial fallen angels kind of thing. And so that bloodline has been going till today. And um, there are groups of people that are part of that bloodline that are on this world. And God refers to them as tares in, in the world. He refers to them as people that were put here to distract us and to get us off the true path. When we seek God holy, when we seek him and like go to places where he's made like this, um, they've made all these scientific bullcrap things like evolution, which doesn't exist. All this stuff is, is nothing more than adaptation. It's God's, God originally planted it, and yes, it's adapted over time. Evolution is taken from one kind to another, which has never happened. There's no way, no shape, no form. Um, the fossils don't exist. If you have one thing going to another, you'll see the, um, the, the skulls and the physical attributes of those things going from one thing to another. However, if, if um, but there are ways of making stuff through a lab and through other things, but all these things that they have come up with, yes, yeah, some of the scientific stuff is spot on. And then there's others like the way, like the physical properties of this world. Oh, well, um, we live on a spinning ball that's going millions of miles an hour through across space and blah, blah, blah. No, we're not. We have been stationary. If we're going through space, then how come we seem to see the same stars again and again and again? If we are flying through space, shouldn't we get a different viewpoint than what they did back then? And the viewpoint, it's like, even over like thousands of years, our stars are slightly off. If we were flying through space, I mean, think of it. If, if the stars were here and you were flying through space, you, shouldn't we get a whole different amount of stars if we've been flying through the galaxy billions and millions of years ago? I mean, for that amount of time, shouldn't we be seeing a completely different viewpoint? Shouldn't we be seeing stars like most of the stars completely different and new? We don't. Have you ever seen critters that are like going from a bird to anything else? Have you seen a mammal going from a mammal to anything else? No, you haven't. There's land and water mammals, but they're still a mammal. Um, so you need to wake the heck up because it's game over. This world is about to hit tribulation. Um, I've been shown exactly what's gonna happen. I mean, tsunamis are gonna pop off. Super volcanoes are gonna pop off earthquakes like you have never seen and what i find interesting is is the devil is trying to uh have it go his way so what he's trying to get you to believe is is to be so fearful and so in the world that you believe that every little disease is going to kill you um when god has been keeping a, a, a cap of it he believes he's he wants people so at odds with each other when we're one the same blood I, if you took off our skin, what does it have? It has the same identical organs. It has the same identical blood. It has the same identical everything underneath it. So what if our skin is different? So what if our, like, whatever is different? It's not, I mean, we're all from Adam. We're all from Noah and his family. Um, we, we're one of the same people. And they want you to believe that, oh, well, you should hate this group because of that or hate that person because of this. Like, no. We should love each other, and that's what it says in the Bible. It says we should love each other. It says that we should bend over backwards for each other. It says that we should love our neighbors and our brothers and our sisters and, and our, our neighbors. It says that we shouldn't cause uh, any unjust harm. And it's this world has pushed a completely and utter whatever. Um, this world has said, hey, you should buy a house and a, buy a car, and you shouldn't allow anyone to use it or any of the tools that you have because, oh, well, they may break it.
Well, in the Bible, according to the Bible, what it says is you're supposed to lend and borrow. And if that person lends or, or borrows something and they break it, then they are supposed to replace it. And that is straight out of the Bible. I think it's in De Deuteronomy or Leviticus. So the way that we're supposed to be living is completely different. However, the selfishness, and it's, I don't know, was in 1 Timothy or Titus, where it says that selfishness will increase. It says that um, anger and um, going against authority will increase. It says that uh, people will go against their parental people. It says that they will do all this stuff. And, um, and it's happening right before our eyes. Uh, all the nations are going against one another. Um, the true people of Israel, it's not a, it's not a, uh, I mean, that land used to be very big. I mean, it used to encompass Iraq. It used to encompass Jordan and Syria and on that whole place. And yet they get this small little <laughs> thing of land that's like, holy crap. Um, it's ridiculously small. Um, but I mean, God in the end will make everyone come back to him and he'll real, and he'll make people realize that he's right there. Um, God is all around us. I mean, all of this stuff that you're seeing before me, except for those houses, were made by God. All these, oh, there's a uh, squirrel on the ground. You can see him right there. And, um, but yes, all these critters were, were made to, um, by God and for, um, for our help and our enjoyment and everything else. And, um, we're supposed to use them. And I mean, God controls the weather. God controls all of this. And he is, he's done with this world. Um, you're about to see the vengeance. Look it up, the vengeance of God or the day of the Lord. You're going to see a whole different side of God. You're going to see him absolutely obliterate this world. Um, he's done dealing with people that are constantly mocking him. They're going, they're, they're into their sin and into whatever. Um, and you're going to like one day, I, I have a feeling it's within this month. You're gonna like be woken up by the ground and uh, uh, the ground shaking beneath you like you've never felt before. Um, you you are not safe anywhere in the world. If you think that oh well I can prepare and I can get radios and all this non non uh, stuff, yes that may help you short term, um, it, or it, you may fall into a crevice and whatever. Um, if you want a, a somewhat of a look at uh, what potentially could happen. Look at the, it's called Reliant, and I found it on YouTube, but it shows how people will utterly go after each other and kill each other. It shows how you could lose um, a father and mother instantly. It shows that all your preparations, that you won't have any time. Like you think that you're going to have time to load and prepare a vehicle and haul butt out of there. It's like, no, um, when it happens and all hell breaks loose, and um and you're and and you're not there you're it's gonna be bad and so i mean um i i'm on here right now because god is is done he he's through he he's done and i'm just curious where uh what it's gonna take for people to wake up because god is at the point where he's like okay well i've tried everything i know how to do to get people's head out of their butt and nothing has worked Sorry, I'm backing up and trying not to hit anyone. Um, but, I mean, it's like, I and I have tried to wake up people as well. I've tried to get them, and yet they go right back to their same old sin. They go back they, they go back to their drugs. They go back to their sports and their gaming and all this stuff. And I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to, like, sugarcoat things. I'm here to wake you the heck up. Because tomorrow, you could have the worst flipping nightmare scenario you've ever even remotely thought of actually you probably even haven't even thought of what's happening the ground's going to split open you're going to have lava oozing out all over the ground everything that you could possibly think of um i mean hell is coming to life on this world all the demons are being released all all the things that you're seeing before you are going to get ten thousand times worse um you're going to see giants on the land. You're going to have beasts going against you. And it's God's judgment. So um, I'm sorry to be <laughs> uh, attacking, but this world's done. Um, and I thought it would happen three years ago, but God delayed it. Uh, but the beast is now. I mean, our governments don't care. I mean, if we look at right now, uh, they have drained all of our food supplies by 
certain causes, they have made it so everything disappears. Um, people are at war with each other. I mean, the stuff that's happening right now is biblical. Uh, the heifers are about to be sacrificed. If they wait any longer, they won't be within the line of what they need in order to make the, the sacrifice. And it's all about um, being holy in their temple. They think that a heifer is going to um, cause them to be sacred and whatever. And <laughs> they couldn't be further from the truth. Um, but yeah. So anyway. Um, but yeah, it's game over for this world. Um, I don't know how to more to tell you um, but things are, are going to get really ugly um, if you think you're safe and wherever you are you're fooling yourself um, I know Colorado has only experienced fires and seldom do they experience anything else but I do know that um, Yellowstone which is right over there a couple hundred miles away um, when it blows Within two or three hundred miles, it's going to be the blast circumference where it's going to level everything, like ten megaton or I don't know how many megaton bombs. Um, but it's going to flatten everything. Um, the Earth is going to open up, and there's going to be mega earthquakes like you've never seen before. Um, so there's nowhere safe. Um, and when the earthquakes hit, all the reservoirs above us, which are quite a few, there's like over three hundred something lakes up on the Grand Mesa. Um, and all those, all that water will come rushing down. So anywhere in the valley, which is up right here, is going to be buried underwater. So um, it's going to get really ugly. Um, I don't know how much more I can emphasize that you need to wake up. If you do not wake up, you're going to be caught off guard. And there's nothing more I can do, nothing more I can say. But um thank you for listening um but yeah you need to go to god right now if you don't think he exists then how do you think all this stuff was put here you just think that it's just randomly put here i'm sorry have you ever seen uh nothingness come from nothing no well god made it uh this world did not come from a a, a glob of, of whatever how did that glob of whatever get there did it just randomly show up? Oh, it just it just magically formed. It's like, have you ever seen anything magically form in the thousands of years that we've been on this earth? No. There's your answer. You you have to have a loving, caring God that knows every detail, that knows exactly where people go and what people do, um, in order to make this world work. Um, but yeah, it's game over for this world. So. Um, thank you for joining me um, and wake up go to God now um, I think all the people have been marked but you still have a chance because you have seven years but those seven years are going to be beyond your worst nightmare and the only way that you will get through it is to show God that that you're there and that you care because if you go if you if you give up it's it's game over and you won't make it um you will more than likely take the mark and you accept your consequences and the consequences are you burning alive in uh the lake of fire so um i wish i could give you better news but that's that's the that's the truth so um god bless you all